During this video, I'm going to show a night patrol for sea turtles eggs. Some beautiful hatchlings will make their way to the ocean. We are going to see a black sea turtle under a sky full of stars. We are also going to meet Carlos, which studied the black sea turtles for over 32 years, and he will share some information with us. We will also have the privilege to meet another hero, his name is Angel, and he also protects the sea turtles. That night he found a nest with 134 eggs, which was amazing. And this is me, helping the sea turtles as well, in this magical place. Good morning everyone, it's 2am, we are here at the turtle camp in Kolola, on the Pacific Ocean coast. And now we are uh, going to for a night patrol to see if we can find some turtles. This place is uh, known for the black sea turtle and uh, this place is known to have this species coming here to lay down her eggs here on the beach. So let's go and hopefully we'll be lucky. I've dedicated years traveling to some incredible places. I'm Alex Belby and I'm a wildlife photographer. Beauty on Earth project, it is a tribute to the planet, where I hope, through photography, to convey the beauty of the species and the place they have in the world, and try to help protect them, but also show the impact we have on them and their habitat. Support the project by choosing a membership on Patreon. If you are new on this channel and you would like to stay updated, please consider to subscribe. Thank you very much. I would like to start with a huge thank you to the people that are part of Beauty and Art family on Patreon. Thanks a lot guys and I'm very grateful for that. If you'd like to know more details about Beauty and Art family, please check the link in the description below. Buenos dias! Como estas? Yo pensé que no ibas a venir. Ah, si? Eso durmió la mano. Hola, buenas, buenos dias. Soy Ángel Oliveros Ramírez. Trabajo en el grupo tortuguero de Colola. Somos un grupo de voluntarios de la comunidad indígena de Coire. Eh, por la noche este, salimos al recorrido a colectar nidos y sembrarlos en el invierno. Voy a ir por una cuatrimoto. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Before continuing with the patrol, we released these beautiful hatchlings to make their way to the ocean. As you can see, there are olive ridley hatchlings and black sea turtles as well. This moment was simply magical. So this is the track of the magical black sea turtle. In this moment, she is making her way on a higher area of the beach to lay down her eggs. I don't want to get too close because it might scare her. So the best thing to do is to let her finish in and hopefully we'll be able to see her on the way back. Time is crucial during a night patrol for sea turtles nests. Finding a sea turtle nest, it is not an easy thing. It can take a lot of sweat. Of course, each sea turtle species has its own way of creating the nest, and some species makes it more challenging for the predators to find it. Sea turtles are simply so intelligent. After some time, Angel managed to find it, but it wasn't easy. It's not negra, right? Yes. Yeah. Tell me if you can help with something, okay? There is a lot of hope for this species here in front of us. Este, estamos patrulla patrullando por la playa y ya encontramos un nido. 
eh, puso 49 huevos es negra Ahí está la cama vamos a seguir colectando nidos the turtle is uh, making the, the nest now and uh, there are lots of stars so I'm trying to take some long exposure photographs uh, showing her and the, under the stars and uh, just keeping the distance I don't want to get too close you know and uh, yeah this is the black turtle she's so beautiful Mi nombre es Carlos Delgado Trejo, soy profesor investigador del Instituto de Investigaciones sobre los Recursos Naturales de la Universidad Michoacana de San Nicolás de Hidalgo. He trabajado por 32 años con tortugas marinas aquí en México y particularmente mi experiencia se inclina más hacia la tortuga negra. Esta tortuga pues, se caracteriza por ser de las más pequeñas de todas las poblaciones de de Kelonia en el mundo. Eh, también presenta una, un característico color oscuro eh, en el, del carapacho y también una forma muy particular acorazonada eh, con un estrechamiento en la parte eh, posterior del carapacho que la distingue de cualquier otra, pobl otra población de eh, tortuga verde eh, ya sea en eh, Hawái, el Indo-Pacífico, el Mediterráneo o el Atlántico. Sí, claro. Ahí está. Sí. Mira, este, no vale. El nido está así. Ajá. Tienes que llegarle por este lado. Sí, por la, por sí, la sí. Bien profundo, ¿eh? Sí, está bien hondo. Es? Es la negra también. Sí, es negra. La negra lo hace más profundo que la sí. golfina, ¿no? Sí, la golfina está como a 30, 40 centímetros. La negra sí la pone casi a un metro. Porque es más grande, ¿verdad? Sí. Y luego este, la golfina no se hunde. Esta hace una... Se hunde y luego aparte hace el hoyo más abajo. Pues quedan hasta adentro. Pero mucho es esa, ¿eh? Sí, esto se puso mucho. Los otros hicieron poco. Este nido fue muy grande, eh, son 134 huevos y estuvo muy profundo. So the black turtle makes uh, the nest a lot deeper. The olive relay makes it approximately 40-45 centimeters. 
but Angel said that the black turtle can have the nest deep to one meter. So uh, it's a turtle that is uh, bigger than Dolly Ridley, and uh, her nests are are deeper also. This is the third nest, and uh, it has 134 eggs. Ciao bimbi, come state? Come avete visto, ci sono persone sul pianeta che lavorano molto per proteggere queste specie. Vi piacerebbe aiutare a queste specie nel futuro? Un abbraccio, vi voglio bene e remember, never give up on your dreams. Bye! If you are new on this channel and you would like to stay updated, please consider to subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you.